Hi, this is Kevin Dangor, and I just wanted to take you on a quick tour of the themes feature that appears in brackets 0.42. But before actually diving into the themes itself, let me go to the extension manager. So if you fire up the extension manager and type in theme, uh, you will quickly find that there are a bunch of themes already installable uh, via the extension manager. So just go ahead and uh, take your pick. A lot of them will have a more info link. Follow that link and you can see a screenshot in many cases. So once you've installed a theme, uh, how do you switch? Well, you go to the view menu and there's a new themes option. And from there you can select the theme you want. Brackets by default now includes two themes, light and dark. So this is the brackets dark theme. When you switch to a dark theme, you'll find that the things like the inline editors also turn dark. Uh, and you'll find that you can switch between themes pretty easily uh, and you can see a live preview of the theme in the background. There are a couple more options available on this, uh, on this dialog box. The theme scroll bars, basically themes can customize your scroll bars and if you don't want them to do that, you can just uncheck this. You can change the font size right here uh, and you can also change the font family. So if, if the font we're shipping with is not your preferred font, or if you uh, would like to see, or if you have problems with certain characters in the fonts we ship with, uh, you can go ahead and change the fonts right there. Um, so for example, I have Consolos available on my system. Um, so if I change, uh, it's kind of a subtle change, but I know that these zeros are these zeros from Consolos and not source code bro. So um, yeah, so that's the themes feature in a nutshell. Hope you enjoy it, and thanks a lot to Miguel Castillo for all the work he put in to get this into Brackets Core. Thanks a lot for watching.